Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert some of your ROMs into CHD format to save some space. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, if you played Dreamcast PS1 or PS2 games on emulators, you should know that ROM file sizes are pretty darn big. With the recent release of Eater SX2 on Android, an amazing PS2 emulator, it is important to try to save as much space as possible on your device, that way you can fit a ton of games on it. In this video, I'll show you how to convert GDI, Q files, and ISO files into CHD format. Now to convert your ROMs, you will need access to a PC. As far as I know here, this method is not available on mobile devices. If it is, please let me know in the comments below because I'd love to do an updated video. The first step is to head to mamedev.org. I'll leave a link in the description below. We need one specific program here, and it's included in the latest version of MAME. This solution is 100% free, so go on ahead and click on the latest version of MAME, the .exe file here, and download it. Once it downloads, feel free to open it up and extract it to where you want it to go. If you're having trouble extracting it, I'll leave a link to a 7-zip video in the description below. 7-zip is an amazing program and it's 100% free as well. Once it's done extracting, open up the extracted folder and the one specific program we need here is called CHD Man. You are free to delete everything else out of here if you want or keep it because MAME is an amazing emulator. For this video, I'm just going to clear everything out here to make things simple and straightforward to show you exactly what you need to do. So the only thing that's left in this folder is CHD Man. The next step here is to drag and drop every single game that you want to convert into this folder. So for this video, I'm going to be converting Capcom vs SNK2. It's a PS2 ISO file. Now once you've got your ROMs in this folder, go to the address bar at the top here and type in CMD to bring up your command prompt. From here, we need to type in three different things on one line. The first thing to type in here is CHD Man Create CD. And what this does is this activates the CHD man application in this folder. The next thing to type in here is dash I and then in quotations, the name of the game that you're converting along with a file type. The last thing here is specifying the output file. So we type in dash O and then in quotations, what you want the game to be called. I'm just going to call it CVS2.CHD. The dot CHD here is extremely important. And so are the end quotes. If you mess anything up in this command, it's not going to work right. And I'll leave a copy of an example of the command in the description below just for reference. Once you've got this typed up ready to go, just hit the enter key and let CHD man do its work. This entire process might take a long time or it might be relatively quick. For me, this process is going pretty darn quickly and it just finished. Now at this point, you're free to convert other ROMs if you want, but for me, I am done here. So I'm just going to close this command prompt. In the folder now, we have the original ISO file, which is 218 megabytes, and the new CHD file, which is 166 megabytes. So we've saved about 52 megabytes overall, which is quite a bit. So I threw the ROM in CHD format onto my phone. I booted up EtherSX2 and we can see it right here in the menu and it's fully playable. The game didn't take any additional time to boot up. It's running at full speed here and I didn't notice any graphical issues. Everything seems to be a-okay. So with that being said, I've just saved myself a ton of space on my phone here for some additional games or whatever else you want. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Huge shout out to the main dev team for creating a tool that is incredibly useful. Let me know your thoughts about CHD Man in the comments below. Have you been using CHD files and will you be creating them to save some space? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you everyone. Take care.